Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to another Sims 4 speedrunning video or welcome to the channel if you're new here. So in today's video I'm going to be building the world of Copperdale, which is the world that we got from the expansion pack Sims 4 high school years and I'm going to be building a mechanics workshop and family home. So this house ends up having three bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms and it's built on I believe a 20 by 20 lot of memory. It's quite a small lot but I'm actually really impressed with the amount I was able to build on it, but I am building in the area of Copperdale, which is a little bit more like woodlandy. So there's a lot of pine trees, a lot of rocks. There is a massive body of water. You can't see it though, because it's directly in front of this lot, but there is a massive area for your sims to swim around in. And it's also the area which kind of showcases the fairground in this world, which if you're not familiar, the world of Copperdale itself is split into three separate neighborhoods. The first neighborhood that you travel to is pretty much just a school. So if you've got teenagers and you actively go for like a school day with them, they'll go to the school, you know, they can do all their high school stuff. There is also a something torium, auditorium. I don't know how you say that word. Hopefully you know what I'm talking about, but basically in the game, you know when you have like prom or career day or something like that, your sims will travel to that venue. In the UK, we don't have that. We just do that kind of stuff in like a sports hall, <laughs> but that is why I'm unfamiliar with the word. But yeah, we have that initial neighborhood. We also have some sort of like mini town square. There's a library there. There's also like a boba tin thrift shop. There's a couple of residentials, but then the last neighborhood, which is the one that I'm building in, is on the bottom right hand side of the map. It's very woodlandy. It's very pretty there is like I said a massive body of water it's just so picturesque it's also got a fairground so your sims can go to the fair they can go on the ferris wheel they can go and get some something to eat they can go on all these different rides and for some reason I don't think I've ever built here before in the past which I actually can't believe because I feel like I've, I've got a good mix of different areas that I build in but for so, this one just slid under the radar and for some reason I just never seem to build here but this week I basically had this idea for a household in mind that I've really wanted to build a house for and I was thinking of all the different neighbourhoods I could build their house in and then I realised that this neighbourhood would quite literally be perfect for this particular family and so yeah I decided to build this little house here and I'm really happy with the way this house turned out. It's very rustic and very lived in on the inside but it was just so much fun to decorate and so i hope you like it but anyway getting on and talking a little bit more about the build itself so like i've already mentioned this house ends up having three bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms i decorated the bedrooms to be one for a set of parents or if you wanted to like a single parent the idea that i was basically running this whole entire build off was it was a single dad living here with his two boys and so yeah there is a single dad's bedroom upstairs we then also have a teenager's bedroom Room, where I'm building in the area of Copperdale, which literally has the fairground quite literally at your fingertips, like it might as well be in your back garden. I felt like it was only necessary to make it so there was a teen space in this house, and so yeah, there is a teenager's bedroom, and then there is also a kids' room as well. The bedrooms are quite small, but it kind of worked out perfectly, at least for like the storyline and how I imagine it to play out in my head. I didn't want this house to be absolutely massive with every single object and fancy technology thing known to man it's quite a rustic not run down house but i imagine that dad that lives here he doesn't really keep up with like the interior decorations like he needs to retail the kitchen he needs to put a fresh coat of paint in like the hallway and stuff like that i didn't want it to be absolutely perfect and so when it came around to the bedroom sizes it it kind of worked out that they're quite small because it's somewhat realistic but then saying that the actual house itself it's quite small, but I was just able to fit so much in. Like you literally walk in through the front door. All right, you do have a little bit of a side table and then you do go for an archway, but then straight away, you're in the lounge room. You can then chuck a right and then you're in the kitchen in the dining room. You go upstairs and you've got the bedrooms and the bathroom. But then there is also a basement in this house, which you can almost access from the kitchen. In the basement, I basically tried to make it into the dad's home office because I was thinking the dad in this house is a mechanic. He's got his own little like car workshop business and he goes downstairs in the home office of an evening and that's where he does all like his invoices and he sorts out all of his different like businessy bits and bobs basically. There's also a utility room in the basement which that's where the half bathroom comes in because on the upstairs level we have the three bedrooms and then a full fleshed out you know bathroom with 
shower bath tub toilet well it's actually a shower bath combo but you know you can do multiple different things in that bathroom whereas the bathroom downstairs in the basement half of it is washing machine tumble dryer and then the other half of it is where you keep your cleaning products and it's also where the toilet is and it's where the sink is and stuff like that so that's where like the half bathroom of the house comes in but then also in this house as you might be able to tell there is a little exterior garage kind of separated off from the house itself and on the inside of that i basically just imagined it would be the dad's workstation i was percy picturing he is like this man around town which if anyone ever has any problems with their cars which think about it, it's actually really ironic because we don't technically have cars in the game but it was just this idea that i had that i really wanted to build for but i was thinking in the world of copperdale if anyone ever needs like a new tire or they need their oil changed or something they would bring their car to this man and he would sort it out for them in his little garage in the exterior on the inside of the garage itself, I didn't just want it to be decoration, I wanted there to be, you know, some active gameplay tied to it, so I placed down the robotic station in there, I also placed down the woodworking table, I then did also try and make it feel like a mechanics garage, so I placed down like a really run down car in there, which I imagine, you know, the, the single dad is actively working on, maybe it's like one of his little projects, maybe he wants to do a bit of a fixer up a car or something. I used the debug menu to quite a full extent in this build, which you might notice because with this idea of the sim being a mechanic I feel like you need the mechanic -y tools and so I placed down so many different spanners and hammers which you probably wouldn't use in a car but you never know maybe if you wanted to try and bump out a dent or something there is so many different workman tools basically in and around this house I even put them on the inside I put like random tape measures in the kitchen where I imagine that maybe he just had a job came in and he was thinking about the measurements for the tire that he needs to fit or, or something like that and so there's all his different like workman tools scattered both on the inside of the garage on the inside of the house on the outside of the house underneath all the different debug cars that I placed down I placed down like newspaper for if ever there's like an oil spill or something so it kind of like catches the oil and i placed on like a little mug with the tea stains on it to make it look like he's just been out there of, of the daytime and he's just had a cup of tea or something i just had so much fun building for this idea for this single dad and it was just i've just never done anything like this before so it was kind of refreshing in a way but you can see currently the whole main shape the whole main shell of the build came together the actual house itself like i said is quite small it was more so like the exterior landscaping which took a lot of time because i didn't want it to be prim and proper and perfect like this this family they ain't got a gardener like it's quite overgrown it's quite rustic and there is so many different random work bits and bobs all scattered about this lot so on the right hand side i placed down a live edit shed which your sims can't go in there but it was just kind of like for my idea for like gameplay i just thought it might be nice for storytelling and then next to it i placed down a really run down truck there is also a tire swing in this house as well which you can see that i popped kind of at the front almost center of the build now if you're wondering your sims can sit in that tire swing when i got my sim to run around and play just this build to make sure it was you know all usable and stuff i popped a little stool on the inside of that tire so your sims can sit in the tire unfortunately it doesn't swing but i feel like that's probably a little bit of a given but yeah i basically tried to make it look like there was some sort of tire swing now the way that i did this is i went through the live edit menu from I believe it's the eco lifestyle expansion pack basically just pulled out a tire from the catalog i then used the tool mold and i rotated it 90 degrees so then it was kind of sitting upright i then found two poles the ones that i've used are from i think the toddler stuff pack but I basically just merged them into the tire and made it look like them poles like hanging off the branch from the tree i just think it looks so cool i do want to mention i did actually get this idea from simlissy which I feel like you probably know who Sim Lissy is. She's one of my all-time favourite, just even like YouTubers to watch on YouTube. She's such a comfort person for me, but I actually got this idea from Sim Lissy, and so I did just want to mention it's not my original idea, but I just thought it looked so cool, and I just thought it'd be so nice to implement into this build where there is so many tyres on this lot anyway, because like I said, that's a mechanic. There is going to be tyres in every single space that they can basically fit into, and so, yeah, it was just kind of like the perfect fit. Currently, over here, I'm working on one of my favourite areas of the front portion of the build, and it's basically like the initial driveway into the garage. So, as you can see, I plopped down this debug car from Strangerville, and I basically plopped it onto the floor, rotated it ever so slightly. Underneath it, I placed down some newspaper to, you know, protect the terrain underneath the car, and then both on the inside as well as the outside of the car, I just basically came in and scattered about loads of different, like, pliers and spanners and, like, 
just loads of different work when he kind of tools i don't know i'm not a mechanic i ain't got a clue about different names of tools but things that look like they should be in the place where you go and get your car MOT'd, I basically place it down <laughs> on the outside of that little Viva car. I then also place down like loose pencils that looks like they've been dropped and forgotten about. I place down like mugs that has all these tea stains in it. And one of my favourite things that I placed down into that little area was it this clutter piece that we've got from the Get Famous expansion pack. You would have seen, I pulled it out of the building by category and it was kind of like this red toolbox. Now you would have seen initially when I pulled it out, this toolbox was kind of like standing upright. It's in this little red case, but it doesn't look like it should even be able to be able to stand upright like that because I feel like you've got heavy pliers and spanners in that, but for some reason you're able to have the gravity to be able to hold it. So it didn't make any sense to me. So what I did is I pulled it out of the building wire category and then using the tool mod, I rotated it 90 degrees so then it was kind of laying flat. But then when I did that, I realized that the case itself, is kind of got like a, think of it as a book, but like one side of it, say like the right hand side of the book was kind of leaning on something and it looked like it needed to be propped onto something. And so basically what I did, I already had a bit of clutter that I placed down, which was from the get to work expansion pack. It's basically loads of different like wires and poles and random bits and bobs like that. But I basically propped it onto it and it looks like this little case has been opened and the dad is actively pulling out all these different spanners and pliers and tape measures and stuff. And it was just, it's a small little detail, but it just made me really happy but either way moving on over here as you can see i've now moved over into the back garden the back garden for this house is quite small but i mean i was able to fit everything that i would want to be in this back garden now as well as being a mechanic i did think further into this family storyline in the sense of what happened to the other parent of this household like what is the dad's backstory what are the kids like and what is their activities and the things that they like to do outside of work and school and what i was basically settling on was this family big explorers they love going camping they love going fishing they just love the outdoor you know you've got them lifestyles in the game and you can have like different lifestyles depending on how you play like say for example if you have a sim and they always go to work they can have like a workaholic lifestyle or if you've got a sim and they haven't got a partner and they don't have any plans of getting a partner you can get like a single and loving it lifestyle i imagine that this family have the outdoors lifestyle i could just picture them always fishing together always exploring going on hikes maybe going camping maybe they do like a annual camping trip to the world of granite falls or something i just feel like anything that relates the outdoors this Sims family, it's just right up their street. I imagine it was something that kind of stemmed from the dad. Like I imagine that the dad is a massive outdoorsy kind of person. Like he loves going on hikes, loves fishing and stuff. And ever since he lost his partner, ever since he lost like the kid's other parent, he's kind of like implemented that to them because they spend a lot of time with him. And so now the whole entire family just lives and breathes being outside. And so I feel like the world of Copperdale in this particular neighborhood it was just so perfect for them because if I wasn't going to build here in Copperdale, I'd probably want them to live in the world of Granite Falls, which unfortunately that's a vacation world and your Sims can't actively live there. But yeah, Copperdale was kind of like the best fit for this family. And so in their garden, I placed down a little campfire, which I imagine when they don't go camping, they want to have like a little bonfire of an evening. There's a little campfire outside. They can roast marshmallows. They can sit around it, have a chit chat, maybe sing a song on guitar or something. There is also a telescope out there as well. Well, and then I did debate adding in a barbecue. The one that I've tried to place down, I think it's from the werewolf game pack, but I ended up deleting it because I felt like it just looked a bit too weird and it just, it didn't really fit in the back garden. But I mean, if you wanted to add it back in, it would be no hassle. I was just personally picturing they'll more so roast stuff on the campfire rather than barbecuing something. And so, yeah, I just decided to delete it, but Either way, moving on, as you can see, I have now moved on into the inside of this house and I'm currently just coming in and decorating this first initial hallway by the front door. Now over here, I did something which made me so happy. You can see that I placed down a shelf, but I merged it onto the side table and I put down two little cups, like two little mugs that look like they've been used. I was personally picturing that the dad in this household, he's a mechanic, like we've gathered that he's a mechanic, but I was thinking that maybe he has other people working with him. Maybe he might take on like an apprentice from Copperdale High School. You know, like sometimes when you do work experience and stuff like that, maybe he's got like work experience people coming in and he's got other people on this lot when he's working. And so I merged in this little shelf, which we got from 
I believe it's from base game, but I basically popped it down onto the wall and then using the tool mod, I pulled it away from the wall and made it look like it was sitting on the little side table. And then I popped two little mugs that looked like they'd been used. And I was thinking it was like the apprentice's cup of tea. Or I mean, it could just be he's got his friends coming over and maybe his friends are helping him at work on the car that's outside on the driveway or something. But I just love that little detail. I feel like whenever you have whenever you do have people coming around you always offer them a cup of tea and it's just something that i never really think about but it was something that i thought about when i was doing this build and yeah i just decided to add it onto the side table and it just it just made it feel so much more realistic to me but also in the little hallway space i placed down a coat rack but i actually merged in two different coat racks to make it look like it was one because i really wanted to use this almost like coat rail thing that we got from the horse ranch expansion pack but it's an empty clothes rail and you're meant to be able to put your sims clothes that normally belong in a wardrobe onto it and i did try that but it just looked too formal for like the front entrance into this build which i knew that i wanted to decorate to be quite realistic for someone that's a mechanic and maybe doesn't really keep up with the cleaning and so i decided to not do that and instead just merge in a coat rack that we got from seasons that one's got like scarves and like a jump hanging off it and i tried to make it look like it was belonging to the horse ranch coat rack if that makes any sense i then merged in like a spanner onto the coat rack and then some other boxes some shoes i then also placed down like a little gas tank next to it i was thinking it was something that was meant to be going in the garage but it's just been left in the hallway for when someone goes outside next and then one thing i added into the first initial hallway which you might be questioning i basically pulled out a room that had loads of different paintings on it and i pulled out a painting to place down onto the wall now basically what this was coming into this build i knew how i wanted to decorate the inside i knew that i wanted this storyline to really revolve around the dad's a mechanic but he loves the outdoors you know they love fishing they love hikes they love going camping all the outdoorsy bits and bobs right up their street but I also know that the Sims 4 decoration category in terms of the paintings and the walls and the wall decorations don't really cater to Sims that really like the outdoors. Don't get me wrong, we've got a couple of different outdoor paintings, but not the kind of style that I was intentionally trying to decorate to. So basically what I did, before I came in and I started filming, I created a household of eight Sims and I plopped them on to a massive 50 by 40 lot, got them all to be a part of a club that loves painting, set it as one of the different club activities. I basically started a club gathering and then I just pressed three times speed in my game and I got these eight Sims to run around this massive lot that I filled with loads of different art easels and paint me a ton of paintings in hopes that some of them would relate to the outdoors. And I mean, it worked. We have a lot of different outdoor landscape paintings that your Sims can actively paint in the game. So I literally just set it up. I think I even popped into the bathroom and I had a shower when it was happening, but I just, I altered their needs so their needs would never decay. And yeah, I just got these eight Sims to run around this absolutely colossal lot and just paint me a ton of different paintings. They, they painted a lot of different figure paintings. I will say that because you can get your Sims to paint all these different types of things in the game, whether it be pop art or an illustration or realistic paintings, there's all these different kind of categories but if you just set the club activity to paint they just paint whatever they fancy and so i had a lot of different figure paintings to filter through but basically once they'd filled every single art easel on the lot that i built i basically went into the build and buy category deleted all the ones that i didn't like or i didn't feel like was appropriate for this build and then the ones that i did like i popped onto a little wall I painted the wall so it was like a nice colour. I then saved it to my room. And then that way I knew that when I actually came in and I started furnishing, I could just pop out this little room with all these different paintings that reference the outdoors. I made one for kids. There is one for the figure paintings because I had enough, so I might as well have. It was just all these different paintings that I basically saved to my gallery to use for later. And that is what that is. You'll see me do it at another point in this video because I tried to pull out another painting. But yeah, if you're wondering how I was able to get that painting of all these different pine trees, it's just one that your sims can paint in the game. But either way, moving on, as you can see, I just quickly did the lounge room. In there is kind of part lounge, but then also part hallway because the way that the floor plan for this house worked out, everything's very close together but i really like it and i feel like for gameplay if you're playing with like a smaller family it is quite ideal in terms of like floor plan because you can't really lose anyone because can't really go far but basically in the lounge room i placed down the sofa which is from the horse ranch expansion pack i then used the matching armchairs i then popped on a little retro tv onto a side table i then placed down like postcards on top of the tv and like TV, TV boxes and random, random stuff basically, random clutter. And then also in that room I placed down 
two bookcases either side of the window and then in between that little space I placed down a chess table and then also on one of the bookcases I merged in my own clutter because I use the ones that we got from the book nook kit. We have one version of the bookcase that is basically fully fleshed out from like side to side with books but then we have one version of the bookcase which there's a few books but there's also a few different empty slots for your sims to place down like their own clutter and like a plant and stuff like that. I used one of them like halfly cluttered bookcases on one side and then I just basically came in and just tried to place down fossils, I placed down some puzzles and just basically tried to make it feel like it's an actively used bookcase as a kind of like a shelving unit. I then placed down a little like little stool in front of the bookcase because they are quite tall and I placed down like, this box of puzzles at the very top of it and I was thinking maybe the kid in this household, bless him, he can't reach it and so there's like a little stool for him to sit on, so, well sit on, stand on so he can reach the top of the bookcase and get all the puzzles and stuff but yeah that was in the lounge room but currently moving over as you can see I'm just currently coming in and doing the kitchen so in here I decided to use the counters that we got from the Horse Ranch expansion pack but then I decided to pair them with this odd oven and fridge set that we got from base game. I'm saying odd because both the oven and the fridge do come in the same colourway so you can get them in the same swatches but I just didn't want this kitchen to be too matchy matchy. Like, I didn't want it to have like the perfect appliances that match each other. I didn't want it to just be all look like it it, I feel like this is more realistic maybe it's just me but I just feel like this is more realistic for the idea that I was trying to portray for this household and so yeah I decided to use a yellow oven and then a black fridge but then also in this kitchen I placed down a little microwave there is also a kettle I felt like it was essential that I placed down at some sort of tea making coffee making station somewhere in this build because I mean as as we've all gathered there is a lot of different mugs in this house for all the different people that have a lot of cup of teas here and so I felt like it was only necessary to to include a kettle in this house and so yeah I place it down into the kitchen there is also a door in this kitchen which leads downstairs into the basement and then next to the door there is a side table the one that I've used is from the horse ranch expansion pack I then place down like this old retro telephone onto it I place down like a biscuit tin biscuit jar there is also a lamp and like tape measured and odd bits and bobs like a pencil and just random stuff that is just kind of accumulated over time has kind of just been popped onto the surface as kind of like a momentarily kind of thing and then kind of forgotten about and it's just like plopped on there and it's kind of just stayed there but then also in this kitchen i placed down a little table in the middle of it only because the kitchen itself was quite a big space and i just didn't know how to fill it out and i felt like if i didn't include something in the center of the kitchen it just would have felt too too big and too open and so i decided to use a base game little table and initially i wanted to use the chairs that we got from the horse ranch expansion pack just because to be honest, the whole Shrine expansion pack really came in clutch in this house. Like, it was just so handy. All of the different archways that I've used in the Downstairs Devil, they are all from the Horse Ranch EP, as well as like the front door, the sofas, like I mentioned. Like, there is so much Horse Ranch stuff within this build because it was kind of like that perfect medium of it's homey, but it's a bit rustic. Like, it was just perfect for this build. But I initially placed down the Horse Ranch chairs in the kitchen table area, but then I noticed that I wanted to use them in the dining room, and I just didn't want to have the same chairs like in this room and then the other room and so I decided to switch out the ones in the kitchen for the ones that we got from the cats and dogs expansion pack and then use the horse ranch ones over here in the dining room but as you can see currently I'm just coming in and just cluttering up this room I decided to use the table that we got from the Sims 4 base game to pair along with them chairs from horse ranch just because the horse ranch comes with I think two tables one of them's really long it's one of them three tall long tables which was way too big for this room but then the other one is a circular table which I do really like but I felt like if I would have placed down the circular table into this room it just wouldn't have filled out the room nicely and there would just be so much empty space when realistically it's just a room that your sims would sometimes sit down and eat their dinner in and so I decided to use one that we got from yeah the sims 4 base game it's a little bit more weathered it looks like the wood's not exactly perfect there's a few different like scuffs in it here and there I then also did try and pull out some more paintings from like my saved rooms I tried to initially place one on kind of like the back wall where I placed down this painting of some sort of like cowboy with a horse I did initially try and place one down there but I just couldn't find the right painting for the area and so I decided to use one that we got from I believe it's a Strangerville painting that one with a horse but even though we didn't get horses with the Strangerville game pack it's kind of like western -y and I was thinking when I placed down this this painting or maybe the previous partner to the dad of this household maybe like the other sims parent when they passed away they were really into horse riding and they, they really liked 
horses and maybe they used to live on a ranch or something or maybe they grew up in the world of chestnut bridge and so later on upstairs or it might potentially be in the basement over here i just know that i placed down some references to horses some like old trophies that i imagine the previous partner or like the previous parent had won and then since they passed away they've just been kind of like locked away in like their own little cabinet somewhere but i just went around the dining room finished that off by placing down a little armchair into the corner and then also run around at the rest that upstairs the house because i realized i didn't place down any radiators into any of the rooms and ever since we've got the full rent expansion pack i've just been placing down radiators into every single room known to man because to me that's so realistic in the uk we don't have like air conditioning units in, in our ceilings we just have radiators and in the summer tough open the window like we don't have air conditioning and so to me to have a radiator in a build it's just so much more realistic and i feel like ever since we've had the four run ep i've just been placing down radiators left right and center into every single one of my sims houses and so you know i placed down at some radiators in the dining room the lounge room and then also at the kitchen but currently as you can see i've now moved on downstairs into the basement and we're currently coming in and just decorating it to be somewhat of like a realistic basement also turned into a home office i was thinking if you didn't want this to be a home office this would be a really good bedroom for maybe a second teenager in this house and then that way you could have a dad two teenagers and then a kid or maybe you wanted to change the teenager's bedroom upstairs into maybe like an infant's nursery or something and then you wanted to have a teenager live downstairs i just think basement bedrooms are really cool but for this particular household i didn't want to make this room into the basement because like i said i wanted there to be somewhere where the dad of an evening could come downstairs he could write out all of these different invoices he could buy all the different parts for all the different things that he's going to do for cars online it's just basically like his little space where he can do all of the boring office fits and bobs but also try to make it feel like a lived in basement like a place down like a really torn up really rugged sofa the one that i've used is from the werewolf game pack i then also placed down this little like hutch item again this is something that we got from the horse ranch ep i just like i said i used the horse ranch expansion pack a lot in this build it was just perfect but i merged in some shelves into the unit itself because the hutch it has got some slots for you to freely place cluster on but it's just there was too much air space if you get what i mean like there was just i felt like it needed another shelf on the inside so i just merged one in and then i placed down a, like a horse trophy in there i placed down some books random bits and bobs where i was thinking that this parent really likes the outdoors and really likes just exploring the outside and exploring nature i was thinking there may be a little bit of a collector and so also on the walls i placed down them little like plaques that you get if your sims collect a certain thing in the game i'm pretty sure almost every single collection that we have in the game has one of them apart from maybe like one or two collections i'm only saying that because you know the collections that your sims can find in the game so like say for example your sims love fishing they've discovered a new fish and then you can find that they've discovered it in like their little collections category well basically if you fill up that category you get sent these little plaques to put on your walls i'm pretty sure there is a plaque for almost every single collectible in the game apart from a few of them i can't remember which ones they are but i just know for me in my own personal gameplay i've got a mod which gives me basically them plaques as custom content because for some reason with a certain category they they forgot to put in that plaque into the debug menu so your sims can't receive it if they complete that collection but for the most part your sims if they complete a collection they get a little plaque sent to them in the mailbox and so i placed down some onto the wall that kind of references the outside because i was thinking they probably explore a lot they probably go into all the different like neighborhood fishing areas they discover lots of different fossils and stuff and so i placed down the plaques on the wall that reference all the different insects in the game i think all the different frogs and then all the different fish as well which i felt like was quite quite fitting for this build but currently over here i've just moved over into this little like laundry room basically where your sims can wash their wash their clothes and then also if they need to they can go to the loo because there's a toilet in there as well but i placed down at some like clutter onto the washing machine that makes it look like there's some sort of cleaning product i also placed down at some folded laundry and these little like wicker baskets i then also placed down a random bar of soap just because it was somewhat like laundry-ish related and then it also placed down a pile of clothes which I imagine to be the teenagers in particular but I was thinking they're dirty and they're just yet to be put into the washing machine and so they've just been 
plonked onto the top of the washing machine and they'll probably just like deal with that later or something but i went around that room and i basically finished off the basement by adding in loads of different scuffs and loads of different marks because i want it to be realistic and realistically if you've got a basement it's probably really dusty got a few cobwebs like in the corners and stuff and so i placed down some marks onto the walls and cobwebs I also placed down a lot of different rugs onto the floor which looks like they're marked or like some sort of oil spillage or something i placed them down onto the rugs just because i didn't want the rugs to look like they were perfect because the ones that i placed down they're really pretty but i didn't want them to be pretty and so I'd, i felt like i could try and scruff them up a little bit so i placed down some like decorations on top of them but currently over here as you can see i've now moved on to the upstairs portion of the build started off by this little bathroom area i'm actually coming in and finished off this bathroom but in here i decided to use the shower and bath combo that we got from the sims 4 base game and then i used a base game toilet that one in particular, I never seem to use. I have this thing in the game. I don't know if you notice it if you watch me regularly, but I always use a toilet that's called John. It's a base game toilet, and funnily enough, we have an obscene amount of toilets in The Sims 4, but for some reason, unless I'm doing like an ultra modern build, I'll always use the base game toilet, which is called John. It's just my favorite toilet. I never venture out when it comes down to placing down toilets, but I decided to use another base game one, which is a little bit more rustic looking only because it looks like the toilet seats would instead of like plastic and so i placed that down into there and then also placed down like a little mirror onto the wall i merged in a postcard onto the mirror because i was thinking maybe it's a postcard from someone's pen pal or something and they've just propped it onto the bathroom mirror i just basically tried to give the bathroom some sort of like realistic life or just some sort of personalization if you want to put it that way but either way moving on as you can see i've now moved over into the first bedroom which is the kids room so in here i was personally picturing that this little boy is pretty much the exact same as his dad but just in smaller form <laughs> i imagine that he again just loves the outdoors he loves going fishing with his dad like camping trips is his favorite thing in the whole entire world and i tried to make some sort of reference to the outdoors in his bedroom for example for his bedside table lamp i decided so I just use one that you're meant to use on like the outdoors. The one that I've used you get from the little campus kit is some sort of like almost like an oil lamp kind of thing but i place that down into his bedside table i also use a few different wood carvings in his room as well now i do love the idea of maybe the kid made them little wood carvings himself like maybe he was in workshop in school one day and you get to create whatever you wanted with like a piece of wood i love the idea of the kid making them wood carvings but realistically in the sims 4 kids can't use the woodwork and actually they might be able to now there was an update where your sims can now cook with parents but i don't think they can use the woodworking table but either way i was thinking that well if the kid didn't make it maybe the dad made them little wood carvings for his son and the son just like proudly displays them in his bedroom i also decided to use some hanging lights onto one of the walls in his room the ones that i've used i believe are from the free holiday pack i don't think i've ever really used them lights before in the game whenever i normally use fairy lights in my sims bedrooms i normally use the ones that we get from the parenthood game pack but i feel like the the ones that i use from the free holiday pack kind of look a little bit more towards the rustic side i mean don't get me wrong they haven't got cobwebs and they're not like falling apart but they're not just as prim and proper and perfect as the ones that we got from the parenthood game pack and so yeah i decided to use that in there and then i also went around that room finished it off by placing down a big teddy bear in the corner i used the one that we got from the little campus kit it's meant to be like a big foot in the game and so i popped that into the corner and then i also placed down the activity drawing table and actually i'm wanting to mention this i didn't realize this until this build but the one that i placed down into the kids room the the little drawing table i've never noticed that it's got pine cones onto it and it looks like it's got little bits of tree carvings or like tree stumps onto the activity table itself perfect fit for this kid and so i decided to pop that down into there and then i also placed down a wall decoration kind of like by the bed area of different paintings that i imagine the kid had previously painted but either way moving on as you can see i've now moved over into the next bedroom which is the bedroom that i tried to decorate to be for a teenager so for this teen i was personally picturing them to be a little bit of an introvert which i imagine that they they love their dad and they love their brother to pieces but in terms of having like a massive group of friends it's just not something that this sim is about. I imagine that this sim really loves playing puzzles with their dad and their brother. I imagine that they're often sometimes found reading a book. They love going on these fishing trips and like camping holidays and stuff like that. Now, I just imagine that this sim to be a little bit of a loner in school and probably is one of them sims that doesn't really talk to other teenagers and kind of is 
just a little bit kept, kept themselves to themselves a little bit quiet in school but i imagine they're lovely but i just think they're really shy <laughs> so in here i didn't really try and decorate this room towards that personality i just tried to include some teenagery bits that kind of relate to the outdoors i placed down some books onto the bedside table that the ones that i've used are from i think the werewolves game pack but they look like they're somewhat outdoorsy i then placed down a little wood carving of a werewolf onto his desk. I then placed down like a mug, some pens, loads of dis different random junk basically in his room. Also placed down some skateboards, which I don't really think he's a sim at two skateboard, but he was basically just a nice clutter piece to fill up that little empty wall space. And so, yeah, I popped that down into that room. And then there is also a computer desk in his bedroom, which initially I was a little bit hesitant to place down a computer into the teenager's room, just because I feel like this Sims family probably don't have the most amount of money. They probably don't want to be spending a lot of money on a fancy computer or something. But ultimately, I just didn't want the room just to be a room where your sim went to sleep. I wanted there to be some sort of gameplay attached to it. And so, yeah, there is a computer desk in that room as well as downstairs in the basement. But either way, moving on, as you can see, I have now moved over into the last bedroom in this house, which is the dad's bedroom. So in here, I decided to use the bed that we got from the Horse Ranch expansion pack, but I decided to use it in this bed swatch that's a little bit... It's a little bit rogue, I feel like, for this sim. Like, it looks like it's got some sort of, like, cow print on the head pulled. But the main reason why I wanted to use this bed, if you look really closely at the duvet cover, it looks like it's got some sort of, like, pine trees knitted into the duvet or, like, some sort of blanket over the bed that's got pine trees on it. And I just felt like that was so perfect for this sim. And so, yeah, I decided to use the bed that we got from the Horse Ranch GP. But something that I did in this room, I basically tried to get the point across that there used to be another sim that also slept in this room alongside the single dad but they've since passed away and there's some sort of like little almost like memorial for them in this bedroom so basically what i was thinking we've got two beds on our tables we've got one on the left hand side that one ends up having like a little lamp on it's got an alarm clock i think i also placed down some clutter of books onto it but then the table on the right hand side i imagine used to be the side of the bed the old parent used to sleep on or like the parent that's passed away that was their side of the bed. And I was picturing in my head, the dad bless him, he can't bring himself round to go and round that side of the bed, dusting it, changing it. He doesn't really want to change any of the decorations because I was picturing some of the stuff that's placed down onto that bedside table has been there since maybe the parent passed away. So I placed down some dried up flowers that we've got from Horse Ranch. I was personally picturing when them flowers were popped down onto that bedside table, they were fresh, like they'd just been bought from the supermarket. But since then, they've kind of just like dried up and now they're just sitting in the vase. But then I also placed down a little painting, which I imagine used to be the sim. I also placed down a little candle, a ha little handwritten note, and then just in front of the bedside table, to really try and get the point across that the dad doesn't go around that side of the bed. I placed down a little cobweb because I was just thinking, if you don't go around somewhere and you don't dust it, you don't over it, it's going to collect dust and maybe over time a spider web might accumulate in the area and so yeah i placed that down to one side of the bedside table and then also in that room i placed down a little chest of drawers and i popped a little urn onto the chest of drawers which must admit i don't often place down urns into my sims builds or gravestones for that matter but just for the storytelling purposes and for the sims that i imagine to live here i just i liked the idea of them having the urn somewhere in the house i mean you could always move it into the garden but I like the idea of it being in the bedroom because then it's close to the dad, but anyway. If you want to download this build, by the way, and you want to delete the random Sims urn, feel free. I don't blame you. I probably would as well, but for storytelling purposes, I just liked it in my head. But either way, moving on, as you can see, I have now moved over into the last room in this house, which ends up being the garage slash kind of like mechanics room. So in here, I basically just wanted this space to be a nice mix of, it's a mechanics workshop it's a garage it's also got some sort of usable gameplay but then i also want it to be some sort of storage room for all the different outdoorsy bits and bobs that the sims family gets up to and so over here in the corner i placed down at this little skiing and snowboarding rack it looks like it's got all the different like skiing snowboarding equipment to be honest with you i'm not really picturing that this family would go skiing and snowboarding that often i feel like that's maybe an activity that they do once every three or four years or something but 
I still just like the decoration of it. And there's also some sort of like matching wall decoration that looks like it's got all this different rope and some gloves and like a little bag onto it. And so I popped that into the corner. Also placed down this shelving unit that we got from the Strangeville game pack. Honestly, I feel like I use this, <laughs> this shelving unit in every single one of my builds, but it's just so perfect for garages. And then underneath it, I placed down random planks of wood and like a little vacuum thing for the garden and like seaweed and just random bits and bobs. Also placed down at like, the decoration box that we got from Seasons in here. And then also the robotic station and then also the little workbench. Also popped down this car in the middle of the room. And if you're wondering, this the the whole entire room is still fully functional like the whole entire house is functional i play tested it and the way that i placed down at this car your sims can still get in this room and move around it and go through both the doors but other than that i'm going to go around this room finish it off and that is pretty much it so anyway guys i'm going to end this voiceover right here as always you can download this build via the gallery my gallery id is jessica pie or you can just search for the hashtag jessica pie or just the hashtag jessica pie as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video and as always, if you do like my content then please do subscribe and hopefully I will see you in my next Sims 4 speedballing video. Bye guys.